asteroid belt. Scientists want to know more about the origin of this cosmic junkyard of wayward debris, which is left over from the formation of the solar system. For a long time, we thought that maybe there had been a planet there that got pulverized and we were just seeing the debris of some major catastrophe. But uh, we pretty much now realize that a planet never was able to form there. The gravitational pull from Jupiter and the other planets just made it impossible for material to coalesce into a planet. We traverse through 100 million miles of rocks, some as small as several feet, others bigger than cities. The belt probably contains millions of rocky pieces. Yet if all the asteroids were condensed into one boulder, it would be smaller than our moon. We can start to learn more about the history of our solar system by studying the small bodies in our solar system, the asteroids. We'd like to know how they moved around, you know, how are they affected by the giant planets, and what is their ultimate fate? What will happen to them? Popular movies have portrayed the asteroid belt as a cosmic obstacle course, a place where spaceships dodge enormous boulders that constantly collide and jostle for position before hurtling down from space to destroy planet Earth. But has Hollywood gotten it wrong? How congested is the asteroid belt? That's what one viewer wanted to ask the universe. So, Joel T. from Kansas City, Missouri, texted us. Have movies accurately represented what the asteroid belt actually looks like? Thanks for the question, Joel. I know this is a bit shocking, but the asteroid belt hasn't always been portrayed terribly accurately in most blockbuster movies. If you were orbiting an asteroid inside our solar system's asteroid belt, you wouldn't be able to see big cratered surfaces of other asteroids flying right next to you. In fact, they probably look just like distant points of light. That's because the average separations between most asteroids in the asteroid belt are much larger than their actual sizes, so they really just look like dots. In fact, an average distance between two asteroids can be one million miles. However, among this spacious sea of odd-shaped rocks, exists a round ball. Ceres is the biggest asteroid in the solar system. The awesome 600-mile-wide rock contains a fourth of the entire mass of the asteroid belt. Most asteroids in the asteroid belt are lumpy-shaped, kind of like potatoes. But Ceres is different. It's actually big enough to have enough mass, to have enough gravity, to crush itself into a round shape. Because of its spherical shape, Ceres was upgraded. Scientists recently listed it as a dwarf planet, the same designation given to Pluto. The modern view of Ceres is that it's not big enough to be called a genuine planet, but it is big enough for it to have formed a roughly spherical shape, but not big enough to be a true planet. This fourth wonder not only holds unique artifacts from the formation of our solar system, it also harbors potential weapons of mass destruction. Many asteroids have escaped the confines of the asteroid belt. And at any moment, one of these rogue space rocks could repeat history. And no one will live to talk about it.